good day everybody you probably wonder where I've been it has been actually pretty quiet the last couple of weeks we've had a lot of rain a lot of flooding a lot of cold weather and so the snakes have just vanished <laughs> um, I've actually had a I've had a few call outs that I've responded to and I've started making a video and then by the time we get to the place it's a absolute nightmare the snakes long gone and so the video just never went out to you guys because I didn't catch anything it was just a total waste of time anyway I am on to what I'm hoping is going to be a positive call I've been called to a business premises in the what area would you call that um, Glen Annal yeah maybe more Glen Annal um, they've got a large water monitor lizard that's cruising around there and uh, the people on the premises called Marshall Security who is the top security company in our area and they've stood off there and um, yeah they're just keeping a watch on the animal that it doesn't disappear and I've also you know told them to make sure nobody interferes with it or tries to harm it or anything like that um, it seems to be really really chill they're normally very nervous animals and usually when they see a person anywhere near them they just run um, I don't know what the story is with this one because it's super super calm and it's just cruising around very slowly while people are walking right up to it and taking videos come on come 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 so I'm a little bit concerned because they're not normally so chilled like that I don't know if it's just its nature maybe it's just a good natured one or maybe it has been injured I'm not sure um, but anyway we will be there in the next few minutes and uh, yeah, let's see what's happening there another thing to add is that the monitor lizard uh, the Nile monitor which I'm going to go catch is is a tops species which means it's a threatened or protected species so you are not allowed to keep them in captivity without a permit you are not allowed to kill them you are not allowed to even remove them from their natural environment without a permit uh, obviously with me doing what I do I have got such a permit which allows me to um, catch it temporarily house it and relocate it to a better area so yeah I'm in possession of that permit and uh, that enables me to be able to go and catch it otherwise I wouldn't be able to touch it um, yeah, and then what would happen? I mean, let's say I didn't have a permit and I said to the people, oh, sorry, I don't have a permit. I'm not allowed to come and catch it. Then you know what the other alternative is? The people will just kill it. So it's a bit silly that the people that are here to protect the animals need to have a permit to go and catch it. But any ordinary person who comes across the animal can just kill it. Yeah. Um, it's crazy. Anyhow, we are just about there. We are looking for number 50. Uh, 61, so it should be on my right hand side. Uh, here we go, it's this big complex. Uh, not sure where I'm supposed to be going. How's it? Good on you. Come for the, the lizard. Yeah, I just went back next to that one. I'm coming now. Which polo? Yeah, just went back there and coming. Okay, thanks. Uh, I see Marshall of your team right behind us. Oh, you're right. Talk yeah. about the polo. Yeah. Oh, the polo. Well, where's the polo? Do you see a polo? I don't see a polo. I do not see a polo. Maybe. Maybe he thinks that BM is a polo. It kind of looks like a polo from the back. Okay, here he comes.
No, I haven't charged for this. I haven't charged for this situation because it's a protected animal. That explains why he was so calm with everyone walking around him, guys. He's had a head injury. You can see both his eyes have been damaged. So he hasn't been able to see anything. He's just cruising around blindly. And that's why I could walk right up to him. And he didn't even know I was there. And only upon me actually putting my hand on him did he suddenly freak out. Shame. Shame, guy, what happened? Come look here in the mouth. See, we've got some blood in the roof of the mouth there as well. You probably find that a car went over his head or at least knocked him. So in a situation like this, this animal, if he's left blinded, you know, if I take him to the vet and he loses sight in both of those eyes, we cannot let him go. He's going to have to go into a captive environment and remain a captive animal for the rest of his life. I'm also concerned this tongue, you see him sticking his tongue out? It's coming out this side of the mouth, it's not coming straight out the way that it's supposed to. Um, okay, now it is. Shame, man. Let me just get him off me. No, he can't see, that's why he's... So What's that? Are we going to heal it? Huh? We're going to take it to a vet. Shame. Oh, shame, man. Okay, guys, so let's get this poor thing off to Kerry at Riverside Vet. And Kerry can assess and see what needs to be done. And if those eyes can be saved. I mean, hopefully it's just on the outside, hopefully the eye itself hasn't been damaged. But, uh, let's go see what we can do to help it. So. Baby. Shame man guys, look how calm this animal is. For an animal that's been injured and he probably can't see a thing, he's unusually calm, shame. Not even wanting to really bite. Okay, well there he is, but... Uh, shame. Oh, look how it's holding on to you. We're gonna take you to get fixed up now, my baby. Big thanks to Marshall Security who uh, secured these premises and uh, they stood up here and waited with the lizard and made sure that nobody interfered. Shot.
I'll take him. Yeah. Okay, hand it over to the wife. She's gonna sit with the poor thing on the front seat and just counsel it. <laughs> Shame until we get to the vet. I'm just hoping that this injury to this animal's eyes are just superficial. Um, maybe it's just the eyelids that are damaged. I hope it's not the actual eyes because uh, I'd hate to see this animal not being able to be released back into the wild and having to go into a captive environment for the rest of its life. That's just sad. Um, yeah, but let's just hold thumbs and hope that the injury is not too serious and that it can be rehabilitated and released back into the wild. We'll be at the vet in the next like three minutes. How's it, Kerry? Yeah. How's it? Sorry. Were you in surgery or something? No, no, I just wanted to ruin there. I was just busy with a rabbit. Okay. Um, I've just picked up quite a large monitor lizard here in Moreland Drive, uh, down here by North Coast Road. Uh, and it's it was unusually calm, like really calm. And then when I grabbed it, it exploded with energy and anger. And then we realized that both of its eyes, both eyes are bleeding. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Eyes are, you want to bring it up? Yeah, I'm actually at the top of um, Longwood now, so I'm right here. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Okay. See you now. Bye. 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 Okay. Let's hold thumbs. Because we don't know what's happened. Did somebody hit it with a stick? Did it get hit by a car? Did it get run over by a car? Um, yeah, we don't know. So... Luckily these monitor lizards have, they're really tough animals and they've got a really strong skull so you never know, maybe if a car went over it it wouldn't even damage that skull if it was a, a light motor vehicle and if it wasn't going too fast. Anyway, I'm just picking at straws here, let's see what Kerry has to say. Thanks so much. Hello, hello. Let me close the door. You want to take over the camera and I'll yeah. manage the, the dinosaur. Do you, uh, edit, do you know how to edit? Yes, yeah. In case it's like swear words. You yes, can yeah. Ems, <laughs> come here. Shame, yeah. They sent me a video of this thing just cruising, but it didn't look like anything was wrong with it. And I thought, geez, how are these people able to walk so close to it and it's not doing anything to them? Obviously, it didn't, until you're touching it. Yeah. If you have a hole, you can just put the head out this end. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, dude. Can't see at all, I think. That's very weird. That's not probably really the best thing to do. And that's probably give it a bit of sedation and have a proper look. Oh, Let's see what it does with the earbud. Okay. Haven't you done that before? Quite a storage too full. Uh, yes. <laughs> the last time I was here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like a deja vu. Yeah. Just hold that here. I'm just going to try and get a little four steps that I can okay. do a little bit of crowbarring open. Hey, beautiful. Hey. Hey, this eye looks. She, she opened it, you could see a little bit of the eye. Did the hey. eye look okay? And you can't really see because it's all blurry. Yeah, open your mouth, little. You know, the mouth looks okay. I'm sure if a car went over this head, his teeth would have been crushed because they would have crushed up against each other. You know, the top and bottom jaw teeth would have crushed up against one another. I don't know. Hello. 
a cat? Wait till you see what we have on the table. Okay, it's not. Oh, I made them do that because I wanted to okay. look. I always think that they're about to open their mouth and do a launch. <laughs> I've had one of these buggers loose in, the, in our front office. Okay. Which? Okay. Which? Blooming. Oh, what's going on there? So good. But you know what they put? Robust critters. Ish. Yeah. Okay, so both these eyes look quite bad, but who would be able to look after it? Okay. I've got a big cage that's in They're quite robust. Robust. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's give it give it about a week or so. Barring obviously a catastrophe and the eyes look worse and worse and worse. There's definitely blood in there, but yeah. who knows? Maybe if we just give it treatment. So we start off with one set of drops. Okay. If it looks like it's clearing a bit, then we go on to maxi troll drops, cortisone drops. Okay. Give it some painkillers. Give it a bit of time to see what happens. If the both eyes are gone, yeah. then it's euthanized. 